Today's video, I'm gonna show you a real little sneaky combination, two punch combination that Julio Cesar Chavez used in one of his fights against a guy named Alberto Cortez. And I got uh, Danny to demonstrate with me here today. And I'm gonna be changing pace here today. I'm gonna be Chavez. He's gonna be Alberto Cortez. I'm gonna show you what Chavez did there, okay? Now, it comes down Chavez is one of those guys where a lot of people say, because I talk about the trajectory of the shoulders and the foundation of all all time great fighters, and Chavez had that. And a lot of people think about like, well, he, he doesn't look just because he squared his shoulders up, he still has his right shoulder, his base and his foundation is his right shoulder is lower than his left. That's why if you watch, I got some clips I'm gonna show you of Chavez, people didn't realize how sneaky defensively he was. And he was able to give you put you put himself in a situation where it looked like he was trying to do one thing, but then he would set you up so he could do another. But one of the things that he, that he when he did this combination here, this combination here is he he's in his stance here. Like I said, Chavez is square up at times. He's got a position he can roll. He can always bring his head when he's looking here. But it's but again when he's here, he's not. It's not. A, it's not a flaw. It's by design. See, that's the difference between what I mean. When you have a foundation, then you can do things off of it. And I'm coming out with my instructional videos, and I'm going to go over all the punches and the foundation of those punches and the footwork. So then when you have that down, you can do things that are not flaws, but they're by design. And you have different positions. So that's one of those guys where he... he and Danny can show you too. Like Danny, he might he might look like he's lean, and then when I throw a punch, he can even roll with it. And Chavez would, yeah, he would use his shoulder roll. He'd go here, and then he'd be able to parry punches and parry punches. He, the base that he had, he's got that weight. He knew how to have that weight strong on that right foot. Okay, so he's here, and then he can do here and bring it, bring it back and take it away from you. Be here and pull back. He's not here because he's flawed. Okay, he's here because he's trying to set something up and he's trying to use it as a point of decoy. What he did in this fight here, as he did a lot of that, he was here and he was here, he pulled, he pulled, he pulled, and then he threw a nice little combination against this guy. He was in this position, the, again, the left shoulder was higher than the right shoulder, and then he flip flopped shoulder reverse, like I always talk about when you're going to throw a hook to the body or a left uppercut. Okay, so when he's in this position, he goes like this and he Flip flops the shoulder trajectory. Left shoulder's high, now the right shoulder's high. Now, when he takes that, what makes this such a beautiful punch, he's gonna throw a left uppercut off of this, is when he shows, throws this, this hand now comes outside. So if the guy's got his hands up, he's blinded by, so if I throw a left uppercut right here, you see it come. See, when he flip flops this way, now this hand is, is behind this guy's hand. So now when he comes, Throws the left uppercut, he comes right up the up, right up the side of this guy's forearm, but his hand goes outside of this guy's hand so he doesn't see it. Boom! And that's the shot that knocks you out, is the punch you don't see. So he comes here and he throws this shot right here, and then he comes back with a straight right hand through the middle. And he creates that opening for the right hand. So what it was, it was a, it was a he's here. Like I said, he was moving here, he's moving here, he's down here, then he goes this way, gets his head and his hand. His head wasn't even as much outside as the hand is. So in other words, he's here. His hand could be right to here. Now, the guy can't really hit him right there, but the hand is outside here, see? This punch right here is irrelevant. What's he going to do? You see what I'm saying? And the guy can't see him anyway. So he, he basically takes his head almost outside of that hand, if not right to that hand. But now the hand is outside of, of that hand. Now the guy can't see. So now here comes the uppercut. Here comes the right hand. And he ends up stopping Cortez with that nice little short combination like that. And like I said, with the footwork, when you got your shoulder playing this way and you flip-flop the reverse, you can you can rotate a little bit on the ball of your foot. Just like you could throw a right hand, you can throw a right hand and rotate and throw a left hook in the body. Or you can throw that, you can throw that right hand. Or you don't throw, you just do what he did. When he does it, it's like he threw a right hand. So he's on the ball of his foot right here, okay? Then he's got his uppercut right here and he throws the uppercut. When he throws the uppercut, when he throws the uppercut, he's, he's snapping his hips and that knee's going in and he's coming. 
He's coming right up the middle. When he comes up the middle like that, that foot, the right foot goes back on the floor. Now, if he's really leaning, that's why if you make a mistake, you're leaning too, now you're here, now you can't get your foot back. Or even if you do have your foot down, you're not going to have anything on your right hand because you've got your weight on your left foot. The weight doesn't go on the left foot by pushing the weight north. The weight is east and west. Even when you throw a hook to the body, you don't go here to throw it. You pull this way or an uppercut. When you throw an uppercut, you're just pulling. You're pulling this left shoulder back. And the right toe can turn, and then you throw that uppercut. When you throw that uppercut, you snap the hips back, and then the right hand comes right down the middle. So the way that looks is I'm going here, flip flop reverse of the shoulders. I'm pulling this shoulder back. I'm pulling. See? Pull, pull. If I pull to the right side, I can throw a right uppercut up the middle. I can pull this way and throw a right uppercut up the middle. When I do that, this hand's outside of this, his hands. And now it slides right up the yellow, doesn't see it. I go this way, he doesn't see it. If you do it from the other, other angle, you can see what I'm saying. When I, I'm here, this hand's outside of that hand. He's got that hand protecting himself. Now he doesn't see it come. I go this way, he doesn't see it come. I turn the toe, boom, I put the foot back on the floor. Boom. If I, if I want to keep it on the floor, I can even do that. I can just pull and just shoot it. And shoot it and use my hips to transfer my weight back to my right foot. Now that right foot is where the weight's at to throw the right hand. So I'm here. Boom. Boom. Whether I turn on it or I just pull and transfer here, wham. Now I sit my hips back. Sit my hips back to throw the straight right hand right down the middle. And Chavez threw that against Cortez, like I said. Stopped him in that fight. Just a beautiful combination. Like I said, a lot more to the eye than people realize. Very sneaky. The way he's hiding, his, taking his glove on the outside by the shoulder trajectory. So, just one more time. Like, if I'm in front of a guy like this, and I get this base, and I go like this, now I can pull my hands on the outside and shoot here. I can flip flop here, I can shoot here. So this, you got that base where you can, you can turn shots, you can be in tight, and you go here, whack. I go here, whack. It's all about baby steps, it's not big. So, like when I turn this foot, if I want to take a little bit more, even more of an angle, I can step, 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 shoot, step, step, shoot. Now the guy can't see, see? I'm taking a little angle for him. When I, and when I step, step, I pull my left shoulder back. Step, step, bam. Step, step, right, bam. Right underneath. One eye. One eye. I just step, 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 and pull. Step, step, and pull. Step, step, and pull. See, I'm taking myself in that angle. Just some short little steps. Let me see here again. See? Right, now let's say, let's say you step. So if you step, step, boom. Step, step, boom. Step, step, bang. Step, step, boom. See, if I get my hands up, boom. I can't see that shot. Boom, it's coming. Boom, it's coming. Boom, see? So that's, that's the art of that. That's something you can work on in the gym. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment below, let me know what you guys think of the video, and I'll see you guys next time.